Hello everyone, thanks for joining us here on Horizon. Well, Oklahoma's economy continues to grow, though at a much more subdued pace. Over the past year, state economic growth has averaged right at 2%, down substantially from the breakneck pace of 10% from the year before. Today, we sit down with Governor Mary Fallon to talk about her vision for the state and how we get there. But before we do, we ask the Department of Commerce's Deidre Myers to give us an Oklahoma Economy 101 Primer. Oklahoma has outperformed most other states, and particularly given the context of the global economy and the financial constraints of D.C., um, Oklahoma's performance has been very good. Uh, in 2012, we had 30,000 job gain, and we have been very strong, particularly in manufacturing. In fact, since Governor Fallon's administration began, we're ranked number two in job growth in manufacturing, which is very important because those wages are 30% higher than the average wage. And it also then supports innovation, research and development, uh, science, technology, engineering, which are high paying jobs. So the manufacturing foundation that we have in the state that is the basis of oil and gas, aerospace, um, agriculture, biosciences, transportation distribution um, is very strong and that's what has given Oklahoma an edge. Oklahoma has numerous strengths right now, which is uh, quite a blessing because there are many states that are struggling. We have five areas that are significant wealth drivers. The first is aerospace and defense. We have five military installations. We have very strong aerospace uh, manufacturing in terms of maintenance, repair, and overhaul that has been uh, very good. And it, it may have some bumps in 2013 because of the sequestration. We'll see how that goes, but since maintenance, repair, and overhaul is actually working on the fleet we are have, we may not be hit as badly as those areas that actually produce new planes. The second area is, of course, energy, uh, oil and gas, particularly natural gas, and then the variety of products that come from that. Third, agriculture and biosciences. Of course, everybody knows that we have very strong commodities in terms of of production of grains and livestock, but we also have manufacturing around uh, agriculture and the biosciences, the, the sensors um, and other kinds of implements that are, are developed here in the state. Fourth, information and financial services. A lot of people don't know it, but the banking system in Oklahoma is extremely strong. Um, in fact, we were ranked fourth in the 2012 quarter in terms of uh, the best strength of our, our banking portfolios. And then lastly, transportation and distribution. Um, Oklahoma is in the middle of the country. We have uh, a wonderful transportation network that we continue to need to invest in. Uh, a lot of people don't know we have two ports, the port of Catoosa and the port of Muskogee. So we have a lot of goods that are coming into Oklahoma that are then distributed throughout the Midwest and West. Well, economists typically watch revenue collections, otherwise known as taxes, as economic indicators. And while gross production taxes have taken a dip, primarily due to record low natural gas prices, consumption taxes, those taxes collected when we buy things, well, they're all up, which according to Myers, reflects rising household incomes. When we return, we visit with Governor Mary Fallon. 